in the last lecture we are learning about uh, two things the uh, concept of the solutions so for the multi objective vectors are concerned and then we discussed about concept of domination uh, in this lecture we will try to learn about the properties that the concept of domination uh, holds and then we will discuss about the Pareto optimal fund which is a very important concept. So, for the multi objective uh, uh, solution is concerned. So, now this is in continuation with the previous discussion we just uh, con uh, just introduce the concept of domination whether uh, two solutions x i and x j with respect to uh, m number of objective vectors are, uh, are uh, dominating or not. And now today we will discuss about uh, the properties that this domination relation holds. That means, if there is a two solution x i and x j where x i dominates x j then what kind of relation that it can holds. Now, okay, so, we can start with the uh, concept it is here. So, definition 3 um, the definition 3 we have uh, the definition 3 uh, that we have discussed in the last lectures we say that uh, two solutions are said to be the or uh, two solutions x i and x j if it is there then x i said to dominate x j if two conditions condition 1 and condition 2 which is stated here satisfied there. Now, let us see uh, if there exist two solutions and then what relation that they holds good. Now, uh, so it require uh, basically uh, it is basically the relation between the two solutions. So, it is the binary relations we can say and we know the binary relation concept it is there and the relation can be reflexive, can be symmetric or can be transitive and we can say that uh, the solutions x i and x j uh, uh, is uh, the dominant relation is not reflexive. That means, any solution x does not dominate itself. So, this is the one important concept that it is not reflexive. Condition because, uh, so condition ok. So, so far the condition 1 is concerned x 1 x i and x i. So, the first condition holds good but the second condition that it should be strictly better than with respect to at least one which is not whole good there. So, that is why it does not satisfy the reflexive property. So, that is why this relation is not a reflexive relation. Uh, similarly, uh, this solution is also is not symmetric relation, not symmetric relation, uh, so not symmetric relation. So, means that if x if x dominates y it does not imply that y dominates x. So, it is not uh, symmetric relation. Now, it also can be anti symmetric that means, uh, dominance relation if x y does not x y not satisfy y and then y can be also um, uh, can be also uh, dominate this x also. So, that is why it is called the cannot be anti symmetric. However, it satisfy one property it is called the transitive property that means, if x and y two solution so that x dominates y and similarly there exists another solution z such that y dominates z then we can say that x dominates z. So, it is called the transitive property. So, what we have understood is that uh, so dominance relations is not reflexive, not symmetric, not anti symmetric, however, it is transitive. Now, so based on this concept, a relation uh, binary relation rather a binary relation can be termed as a partially ordered set, partially ordered set if it is if it is reflexive it is anti symmetric and transitive. So, in this case as it is not reflexive not anti symmetric then it is not 
a partial order set. So, that is why it is called is not a partially ordered relation. However, it is not reflexive and then it basically strict strictly partial order. So, the concept the domination relation is therefore, not a partial order relation it is a strict partial order relation. So, this is the property that the uh, domination relation uh, satisfied. Now, we will discuss about uh, Pareto optimal solution uh, or the concept of Pareto optimal solution. Now, before going to discuss these things, we, we, we will continue our discussion of the concept of domination, where we have discussed about uh, the two objective if it is there, then how they can dominate each other or this kind of things are there. Now, in this uh, figure we can say this 3 and 5 when f 1 is maximized and f 2 is minimized, we can say that 3 and 5 neither dominate each other. That means, this solution 3 does not dominate solution 5 or solution 5 does not solution 3. However, if we consider solution 1, then we can say that this solution 1 or the solution 3 dominates 1 or solution 5 dominates 1 or solution 5 dominates both 1 and 4 solution 3 this one. Now, here all the solutions which rise on this line is basically do not dominated by any other solution. However, they dominates all other solution this, this and this one all the solutions. So, these are the solution dominates all other solution in this region and as there is no solution here we can say that this solution is not dominated by any other solution. Now, the solution set which lies on this line like is called the optimum solution set or non-dominated solution and this as the front it is called the non-dominated solution front. So, this is the concept it is there. Now, solution if so these are the optimum solution with respect to our searching of multi objective solution and ok. So, if this is the entire search space then all the solutions are uh, desirable solution uh, because they are at least uh, better with respect to uh, at least one objective vector uh, if it is not there. Now, so this is the concept it is there and we will see exactly the Pareto optimal solution if all the solutions that is this is the entire search space that is possible or all feasible solution those are there and out of these all feasible solutions if this is the solutions that can be on the non dominated front then we can say that this is the parity optimal front this front is also called parity optimal front. So, condition is that the solution will be termed as parity optimal only the entire search space is covered there. So, this is the concept of Pareto optimality and then we will discuss about the Pareto optimal front. Uh, so, so that, that idea that we have discussed it is basically illustrate the same concept and so, so, so again uh, so, so the, this is the front uh, that front can be termed as a non-dominated set front that we have already discussed and so, we, we if we check it all these ok you can verify with respect to the previous slides we can verify it there are a number of solutions which solutions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1 dominates 2, 5 dominates 1 like this kind of concept is there and then we can see that there are some solution 3 and 5 which are non dominated uh, solution ok. So, that uh, you can check it and then you can find that these are the conditions all conditions hold good. Now, so non dominated as I told you, so if this is the solution is a non dominated and if we can find any other solution then they are no more non dominated solution. So, this solution is become the dominated. So, this is basically another dominated front actually ok. So, this is a example when they are not the dominated uh, like this if there exists some solution which is there. Now, so now we can precisely mention about uh, when a solution will be termed as a non dominated solution or all solutions because they are not a single solution which can be there there may be multiple solutions also all solutions which are non dominated they are called the non dominated set. 
So, it is like this idea uh, a set of solution all solutions P then non dominant set of solution there is a subset P dash of P are those which are not dominated by any member of the set P. So, it is the concept of non dominated set and the concept of non dominant set is very important uh, in the concept of uh, optimization of objective function. Now, again we can elaborate it. So, the same uh, idea that we have discussed about. Uh, so, non dominant set in this case is 3 and 5 that means, is a p dash and p is the all solutions in the solution space. Now, if it is all solutions this is all solution in the all solution then this is the optimal front and particularly this optimal front is called the Pareto optimal front. Now, we will discuss a few cases are there. So, that we can uh, learn about how to find a non dominated set. Okay. So, basically we have to apply the dominance relation for all solution with respect to any other solutions and if we can find the solution which is not dominated by any other solutions, but okay, so then it is the non dominated front like this. Now, Okay, so, let, uh, this is the idea the, that okay, the solution can be obtained uh, by this uh, concept of dominance relation and then we can find it. Now, uh, so uh, again we can uh, note that if there is an idea uh, there is an ideal solution. So, ideal solution does not satisfy uh, this kind of concept actually. So, it is not applicable. Uh, to so there is no front actually so yeah so we okay for the uh, for example if this is the uh, solution space both f1 is minimized and f2 minimized then uh, then in fact uh, this is not the front actually okay rather uh, the ideal objective front only one solution so this is not the front actually so this is the only solution uh, that is there so for the ideal solution is concerned. Now, we can generalize this concept with reference to many examples uh, if it is there. Now, if you can say that okay, if it is maximized and if it is minimized as we have learned about this is the Pareto optimal front. Now, if we consider another case f 2 is maximized and f 1 is maximized again then uh, the this is the front and if this is the entire solutions and out of this entire solution this is the front that means, all the solution which lies on this region they are called the Pareto optimal solution. In another example if f 1 is minimized and f 2 is minimized then these are the solutions are the Pareto optimal solution that then this front is called the Pareto optimal front because it uh, satisfies this concept of domination. Uh, likewise, we can extend few more example. Okay. Uh, so, we have learned about uh, the Pareto optimal set. So, if the, in the so Pareto optimal uh, set this is the entire solution space out of this entire solution space some solutions which are on the Pareto optimal front then they are the Pareto optimal solution this is the concept uh, uh, there. Now, few examples in order to identify the different concept uh, of the different uh, uh, situations where the Pareto optimal sol solution because sometimes we have to decide only the so it is a pictorial description of the different situation by which the Pareto optimal solution can be thought of. Now, here uh, so depending on f 1 is minimized and f 2 is minimized. So, this is the Pareto optimal font. Similarly, if it is maximized and if it is minimized then this is the Pareto optimal front and if it is minimized and it is maximized this is the Pareto optimal front and it is maximized and maximized this is the Pareto optimal front and if we consider these are the entire solution space or, or the search space the entire search space that is there. So, so this is the concept here, but we should not be worried about the different situations are there it is just only matter of understanding uh, the important thing is that 
or any objective function whether it is minimize or maximize or whatever it is there they can be converted into uh, one form either all maximize or minimize then our idea will be very simplified if we all minimize then we can say that these are the concepts so optimal solution we can easily identify a particular uh, front which basically the parity optimal front so the idea is that if all the solution is given to you and as i told you that parity optimal front is our desirable solutions so if we can identify the parity optimal front then we can take all the solutions and these are the trade of solutions so all parity optimal solution which lies on a front is called the parity optimal front sometimes it is simply called as the parity front now this is the idea that we have illustrated for the two objective function is very difficult to visualize the con same concept by in case of n dimensional um, uh, if there are n objective vectors uh, is there but it is the concept is mathematically the same concept can be applied whether the two objectives or more than two objectives are there so this is the concept about it and we would like to conclude this concept with a few examples here now uh, the first is that is a mean and max uh, so it is a basically maximizing uh, this one and uh, and minimizing this one now you can say that which uh, which is the parity front here in this case so in this case uh, because if it is maximize and it is minimize we can recall in the uh, one slides in the last lectures we have different the cases are there we can say that this is the parity optimal front in this case now second example here both f1 and f2 are minimize so this is the parity optimal front in this case now here is the one another the typical curve it is there so f1 is minimize and f2 is minimize so this is the entire surface then this is the one front this front is basically the parity optimal front uh, uh, oh, oh. <coughs> no no so it's uh, okay so is basically uh, okay uh, so if it is minimization so now can you tell me which is the um, parity optimal front so basically it is basically so for the minimization is concerned this is the obje, uh, function which basically uh, the object uh, the basically the parity front look like be so here in this case this one and this one are the two solutions which are lies on the parity optimal front now here if it is f2 is minimum and f1 is minimum both the minimization and this is the front then then we can say that these are the parity optimal front in this case now similarly for the max if it is there so then this and this are the parity optimal front in this case and here also mean and mean and this is the parity optimal front in this case so you so so given the different uh, what is called the geometry of the solution space we will be able to find what are the different front there and which front is essentially the parity optimal front that is the important thing that you should uh, learn it uh, you should know it so after visiting few examples i would like to give few more examples actually it happens in many real life solutions are there okay now i left is an exercise for you so you can check it and then verify it now here uh, f1 is minimization and f2 is minimization then you can find which is the parity optimal front so it is basically it is like this and i just give an example for your hint so this region is the parity optimal front in this case now likewise the same idea can be explained if it is maximize and uh, it is minimize then then this front is the parity optimal front in this case now here again minimize so it is basically minimize and this is minimize so this and this so these are the parity front and this is the parity front in this case now again it is minimize and it is maximize so so it is minimize and maximize uh, so this uh, this concept it is like this so minimize and maximize um, so it is okay so it is maximize means this one and minimize this one so this front is basically the parity optimal front in this case now is a maxima is a maximize so it is basically maximize and this is the maximize so this is the parity front 
in this case. So, the parity bond is like there and for the maximum this is basically maximum and this is maximum. So, this bond is basically the parity bond in this case. So, so parity bond not necessarily be a continuous bond actually it may be discrete bond as we have illustrated with few examples here. So, we have learned about the uh, different solutions and then we discussed about uh, the ideal solutions, we discussed about the utopian solutions and their application and then we have discussed about uh, the concept of domination and then the relation that the domination uh, can satisfy uh, and then we have discussed about the Pareto optimal front which is uh, important to understand about different uh, solving the multi objective optimization problem in this case. Now, so in order to understand this concept better I would suggest uh, to follow uh, few articles because it needs a lot of patience and more studies to understand the concept. Uh, so, the first uh, there is a survey paper it is an updated survey of GA based multi objective optimization technique by Carls, A. Coelho and Coelho this is the what and this is uh, published by SCM computing survey in 2000. So, this is a very good article to read and there is one uh, very nice uh, paper which is written by K. Dev, Kollan Moy Dev he has the many contribution in the field of multi objective optimization solving and here basically comparison of multi objective evolution algorithm some results uh, by uh, Jitler, Dev and Thele it is published in ITB transactions of evolution in computation. Now, this is the one journal transactions published by ITB is very famous and many articles related to our discussion can be obtained from there. So, these are the paper uh, that you can follow to understand the concept. So, with this uh, discussion I would like to stop it here and we will discuss about the approaches the different approaches to solve multi objective optimization problem that we will start in the next lecture. Thank you.